Okay, as I grew up, uh, the one that raised me was my grandma. My grandma would always tell me and my mom would tell me, don't ever do drugs. And as I grew up, I did become a, a meth addict. And one of the things that I regret not doing is listening to my mom and honoring my mom. I would just sleep in the streets, being rebellious. I just didn't care about nothing. And it was just hard because I didn't have a home. So when I would see Sammy, it, it would just crush me inside because she didn't know what was going on with me. And I would also have her in the streets. We would just have fun in the streets. And I wouldn't, ha I wouldn't have a home to take her to, to watch TV, to sit down and rest. We would always just be busy in the streets. And it was just very difficult. I didn't, I didn't ever think I was going to get out of it. It's very difficult to get out of the streets. When I hit the lowest point, I remember it was like 40 degrees. And I felt like if it was 20 below zero, I was just cold. There was one night where I just fell asleep. And it was um, here in the Sixth Street Bridge where I was in a tunnel and I could, I can't remember if it was a vision or if it was a dream, but I felt Satan carry me in his arms and I could just feel the hatred he had for me. And when I woke up from that, I, I told God, Daddy, I love you, I need you. Forgive me for cursing you. And after that, I, I just knew I needed God again. I couldn't do it by myself. I, I was a fool to think I, I could do it on my own. One time, Manny found me on Instagram and he just asked me, let's shoot. And when I met Manny at Creative Life on a Thursday night, we went to the railroad tracks. And after that, Rochelle and Manny came up to me and he said, hey, you want to go with us to the desert to shoot? And I was like, wow, I just couldn't believe it. They don't even know who I am. How do they trust me? And it was just an incredible journey to Death Valley. We went to the desert and it's just amazing. I saw these people, they just had creative ideas and I was just loving it. I go, man, this is just what I need in my life. And after that, they invited me to church. I said, no, but they told me Planet Shakers is gonna be there. And Manny says, yeah, I want you to see Planet Shakers, but I want you to come to a service. And I knew that was God and I couldn't deny it. I couldn't deny a preaching and I went. And when I went to the service, as soon as I walked to Fearless, man, you could just, People were hugging me. I, I'm like, I wasn't understanding. I'm like, why are people hugging each other? They don't even know me, you know? And I heard Pastor preach. I knew that was gonna be my church. And I told my daughter, we looked at each other and says, baby, we have a new spiritual home. Now my relationship with Sammy, oh man, it has changed so much. My poor little baby, I gave her so many rules and I was just too busy giving her rules and do this, don't do that. You can't do this, you can't listen to that. And when I came to Fearless, I was just free from that. And now I just, I just love on her. And when she makes a mistake, we just talk about it. And I just show her how much I love her, no matter how many mistakes she has. And we just do everything together. I mean, I, I love using a, a camera to take pictures and she's right next to me and we just bond in everything and we just do everything together and, and she wants to do, she wants to serve Fearless also and she loves it and I could see, a, I could also see her change. I know God's calling and it's just so simple. It's just to go save what was lost. Jesus came to look for what was lost and I know that I'm here to look for what is lost and I believe USC and UCLA are the most perfect place here in LA with the young kids. I do not want the young kids to go through what I went through. And I always had to think about my daughter. I don't want her to go through. And I know that we need to go look for, and I need to go look for the lost and, and make a change here in LA.